Tonight, she just wants to know what happened that led to all this as deputies search for a suspect. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. The Osceola County Sheriff's Office was called to the shooting last Thursday along Westside Boulevard and Ronald Reagan Parkway in Davenport. News 6's Catherine Silver spoke with the victim's mom today. And Catherine, she just flew in to try and get answers from deputies. That's right. She actually just flew back to California last night after coming here to meet with detectives from the Osceola County Sheriff's Office. She says that her son Jeremiah had saved up to drive here from Georgia for a vacation with his girlfriend and their kids. She says they just wanted a moment of fun this summer. She never imagined that something like this would happen. I'm still trying to make sense of it all. One week since losing her son, Lori Brown says she's still in disbelief. Jeremiah was the baby. He was my love bug. He was the he was the youngest. Speaking with News 6 from California, where she is a city councilwoman in Ventura, Brown says her son, Jeremiah, came to the Orlando area on vacation. July 21st, he was found dead in this area near Westside Boulevard in Ronald Reagan Parkway in Davenport. They were eating pizza, swimming in the pool, and less than 48 hours later, early Thursday morning, he was gone. Brown says her son was on the way to the store when he was carjacked. New documents obtained by News 6 show detectives from the Osceola County Sheriff's Office responded to the area for a shooting. It's easy to shoot somebody and drive away because you don't know who they are. Brown is concerned her son may have been targeted as a visitor staying in an Airbnb. It seems as if that tourist communities like uh, where people stay in vacation rentals like Airbnbs, that those communities seem to be targeted. She says her son, who she describes as a hardworking family man, now leaves behind two children and his loved ones left asking why this happened. Gun violence across the country has shown us that you know, there is no good reason why. And there's a lot of young people getting killed, even younger than my son. My son was 22. I have reached out to detectives here to see if they have any leads in this case. They're staying very tight-lipped about this investigation. I'm live in Osceola County, Catherine Silver, getting results, News 6.